Hi, I'm Mitch Kirsch, one of the owners of Major Homes Corporation. And this is my son, Jason Kirsch. Say hi, Jason. Hi, Jason. We've been around since 1919. I personally have been in this business for 55 years. I personally installed tens of thousands of windows over the years. This window we're showing you right now is a typical window that's made of wood. This is a very well-known brand window. If you notice, it's a wood window. You need to paint it or stain it. If you notice over here on the sides, it has a white track. Why would you want to have a wood window with a white track to start off with? Number one. Number two, there are no tilt latches on this window. In order to tilt this window in, you almost have to be an octopus. You have to raise the window. You have to bring these clips down to the side, push them in, and then you have to struggle to pull the window in. If you don't pull the window in just right, you're going to wind up cracking the glass. And by the way, that's the easy side to tilt. Now, in order to tilt the top sash, the first thing you must do is pull the top sash down. Then you have to push hard on the left and right compression weather strippings and then pull hard on the sash. Very difficult to tilt. Once the windows are installed, obviously you have to call someone in to do painting and staining, which have to be done every couple of years. Now, a lot of manufacturers that sell window made of wood tell you how bad vinyl is. Well, let's take a look at something. If you turn around the window, and by the way, this is one of the largest manufacturers in the country. The exterior of the window is made in vinyl. So this manufacturer is telling you that vinyl is actually a great product. But if you're looking for wood and you want all the maintenance, you can stick with the wood windows. The next thing is, if you look at the side of the window, the windows are literally glued and stapled together in the corners. In fact, take a look at the corner. You can see that glue just oozing out and that little cap trying to hold it in. The next thing is, on the exterior of the home, if you look at the bottom, there's exposed wood. You can and will get water penetration. On wood windows, over the years, usually 10 to 20 years, is a very high percentage of wood rotting, and then you're left with a problem because most wood manufacturers give you a 10-year guarantee. The next thing you look at, if you wanted to have grids put on the windows, if you look over here, they have what is called a grommet. They're a little beige color grommets where you can snap the grids in. When you want to clean the window, you have to remove the grids and then put them back in. When you take them out, there's a high chance they're going to break or will not go back in properly. Also, if you buy the window with or without grids, guess what? You still get the grommets. You don't have a choice. That's how non-customizable these windows are. Also keep in mind that approximately 85% of the average window is glass. The windows that are made by most manufacturers are made by cardinal glass, and a lot of vinyl manufacturers of the higher qualities use the exact same glass, but a lot of vinyl manufacturers also put special coatings on it, which increase the thermal ability of the window. So why would you want to pay thousands of dollars for a wood window when you could buy a vinyl window at a fraction of the cost? The guarantee on wood windows, as I mentioned, on almost every manufacturer is 10 years. The higher quality vinyl windows are lifetime. Again, I'll go back to the glass. There's approximately 85% of the glass on each window. The manufacturer of the wood windows give you an average guarantee of 10 years against condensation and any defects between the glass. They do not give you any kind of a glass breakage guarantee. The better vinyl manufacturers do give you a lifetime glass guarantee on the full glass, the full window, and on glass breakage, which means if the glass were to break or go defective, you are covered for the lifetime of the product. The next thing we're going to look at are the locks. After you tilt the window in, if you look at the locks, the screws are going in vertically. Common sense tells you if you are on the outside of the window with a crowbar on the bottom, if someone was trying to break in, when they push down the crowbar, it pushes the locks right out. On a vinyl window that is a high quality window, the screws are going in horizontally, which makes it virtually impossible to break through. Makes it very, very difficult. Also, check out the lock itself. See how flimsy that is? 
This is not very strong. It's not going to hold on to the window very well. And in fact, we get quite a few calls from people who are unhappy with these products because the locks are broken. But if you want a window that looks like a high quality wood window and finished and painted, a high quality vinyl window will give you that. And peace of mind. The last thing is the thermal ability of a window. When you're looking for a window, you need to look at the U rating of the window, which is rated by the government, not by the manufacturer. And you also have what's called air infiltration, which is also rated by the government. Air infiltration is exactly what it says. It's the infiltration of air that comes into your home around the entire window. Not the installation, but the window itself. Any good vinyl window, or any window, even wood, should have a very low U rating, and an air infiltration rating. Thanks very much for watching. Call my poppy or daddy at one eight seven seven ok major www.majorhomes.com.